Yo, we are back with another video, man. Hey, we got Sukana Return of the Dog, man, by CJ the Chimps. Have you ever seen anime before, is the question. Yes, I have. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Um, my Instagram is at I am Chima underscore. And my TikTok is Chima underscore artist. And this is my artwork. Do y'all like it? Hey. And my like outfit. Then after this, right, Sukuna grabbed go. her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this frog Kuna shit? Get this shit out my face. All right, that's kind of like the intro. This is our first time looking at a CJ the champ, man. Y'all, y'all show us All some right, love. ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of hot. Back to the Shibuya Trials, round two. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, and it starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of pure dog. This is a dog! He is one of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth. And his ignorance knows this no bounds. This is kind of scary. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally. And it is now time for the return. Okay, basically he going to talk about, you know, black force energy. How this nigga is crazy. You feel me? That's what he going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So you about to see. Yeah. Like a dog. But without further ado. Oh my God, I killed my voice doing that shit. Exhibit A. All right, let's see. Ryomen Suku. A tyrant in the Jujutsu world dated all the way back to a thousand years ago. Once a human turned into the king of curses. He was rumored to have four arms and two faces. Damn. And he was such a dog ass nigga. More to combat here than Sukuna. That's so scary. But then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Until a 15 year old boy decided to deep throw one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash. Not once deep throw. Again. And now we're here. <laughs> not deep throw. Not deep throw his finger. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exhibit A, the calm before the storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past, and I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident, and now it's finally time. But since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this home. Itadori is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass disgusting ass finger, therefore bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one shotting a cursed spirit. But later on, Gojo pops up and sadly whoops his ass. He fully embarrasses bro, to be honest. Like, he, he literally sat on the nigga and Sukuna takes a L. Hell nah. Next, Sukuna <laughs> fights a cursed womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on his oh. face, ripping off his arm, then proceeds to use Malevolent Shrine and shish kebabs the nigga. Shortly that after was that, an ugly he dude. decides to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping, if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire scene. <laughs> ah, beating him with aerial ass. after aerial, then spiking him through a fucking hotel. He's fucking him up. And finally, violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body as Damn. hostage. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you I'm see how his head came off? <laughs> Can you rewind it back? Let me see. <laughs> Shit was crazy. Taking his body as hostage. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost Twice. forgot. He made Mahito <laughs> shit his pants. Bro touched his soul and said, Don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. Know your place trash. Then damn near Ooh. killed him and put Bro oh, on his me. knees and made him wallop <laughs> in excruciating pain. And now we've caught up to the present. With all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'ma just say is, this man's final ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. We now move on to October 31st. 2018. Man, that's on scary the sound night effect. Of the Shibuya incident. We will now be observing these two <laughs> dumb ass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots 
decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. They love Bitch. to eat fingers. What is you doing? You know what I'm saying? You got a fetish with their fingers? Fingers. Let me get one. With you know what Huh? Who Whoa. has a finger fetish? Who got a finger fetish? Hey, they might got a <laughs> finger fetish now. You know what I'm saying? They might got one now. I ain't gonna... What's doing? Like, seriously, did you think this plan was not gonna go south? But then Jungle comes sprinting down the hallway like, what the hell is the hell going is on here? Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my God, what about tell you? <laughs> yeah, back the fuck up, <laughs> fuck face. So Jogo decides to just burn them, walk over to Itadori's body, and pulls out 10 fingers, and he says, The streets oh, say wow. you goat low, nigga. So go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound Swallow all of them. It's all about fingers. Dang, nigga. I mean... This nigga sick. This nigga is sick. I never seen People nobody have, like, in eight life. Fingers. Eight fingers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> eight of them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no foot fetish. Niggas finger got a fetish. finger fetish. You know what I'm saying? Finger All fetish. the way. Crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all like that? But Joe goes oh, shoves they like it. fingers <laughs> down this nigga's throat. Like, bruh, that shit is just nasty as fuck. And this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But nah, somehow these what? girls survived. So Joe goes about to burn them again. But right before you just sneeze soon as they say Bill Cosby. What the hell? Do it again. He ends up realizing. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? You have 0 0.01 seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. This man Jungle bags up fast as fuck. And these nah, niggas are shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my god, oh my god, girl, oh my god. Then Joe goes all ugly ass looking at him like, oh Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells him, those bastard, on your knees now. And they drop to their knees fast as hell. What? Bro threw an air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the cha cha slide, bro said, <laughs> how low can you go? Can hey, you go down low? Okay. Stop playing. Do you got an OnlyFans? No, no, I don't do that. Get the fuck out of here then. So then he asks the girls first, all right, what the fuck y'all want? And this little girl is having a panic attack. She crying and shit. She don't know what to say. And Sukuna in the background like, come on now, hurry up, ho, time's a wasted. So she ends up asking him to save Ghetto from a certain person controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But you start story. seeing they backstory, bruh. And y'all know damn well what happens when you start hearing some emotional last music with a damn backstory playing in the background. So Sukuna says, yeah, I raise your heads. So they raise their heads. This nigga takes Oh, 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 oh sweet Jesus! Damn, she was she was a baddie. What? Why did they have to do her like that? That bit was on the knees, like she was starting to suck the soul out that nigga for real. You know what I'm saying? The way she was in that position, and y'all did <laughs> that. The f out of here, nigga. boy ass. <laughs> It was two of them, too. Then he said, That could have been two times the fun, my guy, but. Oh, these hoes are stupid as shit. And the other girl screaming, like, Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! And this man's suking the like, My God, shut the fuck up. So she tried to hit him with her selfie power. She like, I'm about to put you on Twitter and cancel <laughs> yeah. your ass. Ah. And the just slices off her frontal lobe. And she gets Oh my God! And after this, the selfie grabs her phone. And, got and he started looking at it like, Damn. They talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this uh -oh. fucking shit? Get this shit out my face. So then he Dang. turns to Jogo and asks, all right, what you want? This so Jogo says, wild. well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap with you. Uh huh? Well, you know, niggas been calling you a fraud kuna lately. Okay, where the fuck did this shit come from? Twitter. So Sukuna ends up making Twitter. a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, deal if you no land deal. one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Nigga, this was a generational ass whooping. Bro started beating the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> chopping up his arms, blocking every punch, cutting off his fingers, then threw him across the city like a rag doll, then hammer fists his head through the fucking ground. They only been fighting for like 20 seconds and bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on. Crack that 
and just starts flooding everything Squidward. with magma. What's up with He's got the whole city looking like Crisis City right now. And got Suku his ass tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. But bro busts out of it, posing, thinking he's Jesus. So Jogo's like, what, what you the hell? How did he get out of that though? How did he? Two skyscrapers, got name. Got that nigga at one time. <laughs> this the first anime you ever seen? That's name the name of this. Play. Name the name of this anime, man. Name the name of this anime. All right, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! She said Yu-Gi-Oh! What the? This is what this Not reminds me of. Yu-Gi-Oh! And Sukuna comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever animated this little split second, nigga, you cooked. So bro slams him through the skyscraper <laughs> and starts bouncing his ass like a basketball. And Jogo <laughs> just floating. LeBron the James. Oh my god. On that this nigga. nigga's not a fraud. Bro just palms his face and just starts slamming him through this damn skyscraper. Dear God, nigga, this shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Teeth missing Dang. and everything. This man Sukuna was talking. They gotta go to the he dentist. Said, wow. With the moonlight is. shining on you, it really shows how pussy <laughs> you are. So then he ends up picking up his body and tells him, Nigga, you ain't shit. Now I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my god, I can't do this shit no more, nigga. <laughs> so then Sukuna ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. So this man skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog while Joe goes chasing him with a meteor. And meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda are trying to run away from Hold the up, source Panda. and get out of the black. They got, they got goddamn Kung Fu Panda in this bitch. Everybody's getting That's their ass That's Kung Fu Panda right there, ain't it? That is a panda right there. Kung Fu Panda. He's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Bay and Panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out he's of the blast so radius. But well, while they run, and Sukuna comes in and stops them. And he oh, got he's a bad shook. panda. Well, he said, "All right, everybody, let's I play a game. Don't kill the panda, man. Fucking squid game. He's red light, green light, nigga. Squid game. Do not move until I say green light." Uh oh. Don't that was my move. favorite part of the squid game. Green light. Red light. Oh. He killed all of them. Nah, this is just. Don't bad. move. Really they honest. had to move. You killed them food. niggas. So Jogo thinks he hit them. Well, Sukuna's just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. Bro basically said, Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, Aim Labs is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Joko. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into cat and I feel like I need to like take an Adderall pill. Started to have a high noon old <laughs> western <laughs> stand. Keep up with this. And what's like... funny about this? They don't even show the shot. This <laughs> instantly goes into <laughs> Jogo's <laughs> head, and he's talking to his dead friends like, "Guys, I'm, I'm sorry." Is everybody on Adderall watching this? Were false. That nigga's no like he from Amalia or So then Sukuna's just what? looking at him from the back, and he tells him, "Stand proud. You are nigga." <laughs> He acknowledged me. Uh, and this then is just so trippy. Spreading corpse. I go lie, I feel bad for bro. Bro really got thrown like a rag doll and beaten Dang. to a pulp in his last like five minutes of life. This shit, this shit be a trial. Two. This got you already up. stoked. That's just murder. a trip A. Murder. Attempted murder. Invasion of privacy. Attempted murder. Murder. Murder! Murder! Mass property damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exhibit, exhibit B. That just was Exhibit A. Yeah, this is right, B right here. And gentlemen, it is now oh, that was already crazy. Exhibit B. And what Take might me on be a the trip, most baby. outrageous Exhibit B I've ever done? Collateral damage. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. It is now time to observe the fight with Maharaga and how Sukuna once again. What the hell is on that nigga head? You see that? So they start he looks like Piccolo. He's already popping off on his ass, <laughs> cutting him up and everything. But What's then the thing coming out his head? This motherfucker walks out drinking a Diet yeah. Coke and just chopping on some. <laughs> Not a Diet Coke. Cole is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels and he just eating the popcorn like, oh, lad, this is disgusting. No salt, no butter for $15? <sighs> Must be from AMC. The bro gets <laughs> mad as hell and just continues to bully Maharaga while cutting him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger Ew, in his is he getting bigger? And look at the JoJo reference. That I'm surprised he didn't eat that finger. He's bigger, isn't he? And 
throws him into another building. The way <laughs> we can see, <laughs> Super is whooping this thing's ass. Like, bro, looks like he's just having fun. You know, it had a nigga eat eight fingers towards the beginning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. hey, nigga like fingers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's he tough. Likes <laughs> but now, tough. ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In Newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. Cause this oh my god. You, you know what? Pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone. Cause we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. We just gonna try to estimate and tally up how many people die in this fight. Starting off. Okay. Boom, they go flying into yeah, this room. Let's get the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced. Dang. And Sukuna just blows up the room. Twelve already dead. Blood stains everywhere, and he's putting Maharaga on his ass. Damn and then this well. you can see that Sukuna's just fucking around this hey. entire fight. This nigga's just hey. juggling his big ass with aerials, and grabs the crane, turns into Tarzan, and drops <laughs> And with that single Not Tarzan. Hit, the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this. It's a literal car avalanche going on right now. And look at Dang. all these people in the frame. I count 14 people in this frame, and that is a poor, innocent little girl hanging on to her mother. Whoa. And you know damn well they ain't make it out that. Add 14. Next, this whole building is, is falling down, and these people are hanging on for their life. This nigga's grip strength is ass, and he falls off. And I oh. estimate there's at least 25 people on that. I room. mean, how you gonna grip that ball. though, dog? You know they did. And then this is mm -hmm. where this starts to get really OD. So Maharaka hits Sukuna with a OD? train and throws him all the way into this building. It's, and while it's he's been on OD. Ass, Sukuna jumps up and splits the entire building in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Dead. Bro, just split this entire row of buildings. That's at least 100 bodies, bro. And this is where we start to see the chaos on a full scale. Maharaga threw oh, a building at man, and he cut it into up. pieces while sitting on a traffic light and just started making the debris just rain while he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this, bro. Did This is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? Ooh, I know Boeing is having a fit right now. And if that is what I think it is, <laughs> a Boeing 737, and it was at full capacity, that's about 200 bodies, bro. Gone. And look what Sukuna does to this man. Bro said, Get back, nigga! And the entire city is being sliced <laughs> up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Bro's finally done playing with his food again. So he ends up activating Malevolent Shrine. And before he even shoots, you just look at all these people, bro. Just about to have a gruesome fate. These poor girls in here like, Oh my God, girl, what is all that noise? Ugh, I don't know. Let me check Twitter. Oh my God, girl! They dropped the GTA 6 trailer. <laughs> yes, babe. Hey, you see that GTA trailer? Yeah, Ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna uses malevolent shrine and just washes Maharaga. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just evaporated. And this nigga's just smiling like, oh yes. Burn, baby, burn! And then Sukuna finally finishes Maharaga off. Bro, hit him with that. Ugh. And wipe this fucking place off the map. Damn. We're not finished. So after Sukuna Damn. just made a crater and caught shit, I don't know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya crossing. Oh, it look like New York. I'm gonna just say a thousand bodies, bro. It did, right? And then after this, Haruta's dumbass thinking he survived Shibuya. like, oh my god, I get to see another day. And just get split in half. <laughs> bro really thought he was a main antagonist. Yeah. So after this, Sukuna continues to be petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah. This'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. And swaps back out with Yuji and just traumatizes the kid. Made the little what? nigga just have a whole break. He turned into and him? He's just laughing inside of his head like, enjoy it, kid. He's not hot anymore. Now play that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Jesus, man, tally up the damn score. Five thousand three hundred seventy-seven. And S ladies and gentlemen, plus, that plus. completes the Shibuya trials. And since y'all showed insane support on that last video, I had to come back and give this. They trippy. It was a lot for my brain because I'm ADHD. <laughs> okay, okay, bet. But I kept up, and I think I got it. Somebody oh, yeah. got beat up. Fingers got eight. 
and niggas was being niggas. That's facts right there. Well, she said she going to twerk for the video, guys. If you watch towards the end. You get four seconds. Okay, four <laughs> seconds. And yeah, I love it. Do you like it? Oh yeah. Do y'all like it? Hey, do and my like outfit, it? my outfit matches. That's why I wore this. All right. All right. Tell us about the Naruto. I mean Naruto. Tell us about the Naruto. You know what I'm saying? So this is it. Do y'all like it? Um, you told me to paint this. <laughs> so this is Naruto, and it took me like two days to paint it. Two days. Maybe like 